We got to start wrapping up here, but um, Charlie, could we, could you tell? Um, was there a big difference between like the Nashville sessions and the New York sessions being in the two different? Well, cities? to me, just being the difference between the two times, just being in New York, you know, getting to the studio is is more of a type situation than it is in Nashville. Uh, there was a difference in the people we were working with and everything. Yeah, there's a different, little bit different atmosphere. I like Nashville a lot better, to be honest with you about it. Uh, there's a story I think you want me to tell. I want to get it done before we leave. You, you were talking about uh, the that uh, Ringo Starr did the Buku's Blues yeah. thing here. Uh, the way that came about, uh, we I was going. We're going to the first tour that we did with Leonard, and was the opening date was in Amsterdam, if you remember. And you guys had gone on over, and Bob had Johnston had to go through New York, and he wanted me to go with him for some reason. So I went, and I was at the hotel, and he called me. He said, you want to come down to the studio and play bass with Bob Dylan and George Harrison from the Beatles and Russ Kunkel, the drummer? I said, no, I don't want you. Know, of course I want to go. <laughs> so I went down, and we spent the story that Ron was telling while it goes kind of reminiscent of this. George did not have a work permit or whatever it was to where anything commercial could be released that he did. So it was just basically a jam session. And we just literally spent the whole day jamming. And I sat there. I, I've never seen it like this before. You could call that any Dylan song. Gates of Eden, and he'd start singing as much as he could remember of it. He couldn't, but it was just a great day, and we just had a lot of fun and had a good rapport and everything. At the end of the day, George Harrison said, "Who plays steel guitar on Bob Dylan's stuff?" And I said, "Pete Drake." He said, well, "I'm just getting ready to do this album, which turned out to be All Things Must Pass. I would love to use him on it." I said, "Well, you know, I give me your number. I'll get make sure it gets there." So he did. He gave me his number. I called Rose in Pete's office. I said, you know, Rose, George Harrison is interested in having Pete come to London and play on a record. So they called, and it all worked out, and he flew Pete over. And while he was there, he met Ringo Starr, and Ringo said, I want to do a country album. Well, I know who can do a country album. Come back to Nashville, and we do one. So that's how that ended up with him coming back to Nashville to do Bucuse of Blues. And... Uh, they were kind enough to let me play on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's funny, it's wheels within wheels. It's it's where you happen to be at what time you happen to be there. And the best stuff actually happens kind of off, you know, just uh, like uh, me both supposed to play one Dylan session, end up playing three albums with him or being there when George Harrison was a steel guitar player and then Ringo coming back to Nashville and all the things that that – all the things that around that, the peripheral things that happens when it goes up to make a career. Right. Did, if there's anybody out there, I know some people out there that probably came to this town wanting a career in music. It ain't easy. It ain't going to be easy for you here. It's not going to be easy for you in New York or Los Angeles or any place you go. But uh, if you believe in yourself, uh, I was, I'm 78 years old. I didn't become a member of the Grand Ole Opry until I was in my 70s, which is something that I wanted all my life. I heard my first hit I hit record when I was in my 30s. I had my biggest hit record when I was in my almost 40. I'm still recording. I'm still playing about 100 shows a year and still having a good time at it. The point I'm telling you is if you got a dream, follow your dream. And then take advantage of every opportunity you possibly can and stay with it because it if it can happen for me, it can happen for anybody. Absolutely. Yep.